So here we go again, fourth time lucky. They drive again the fourth time of art scene. Dina Asher Smith, not as fast off the mark as she was in some of those earlier attempts, but Dina Asher Smith is the clear winner here at the Belgrade indoor meeting. Just 7 1 4 on the clock, but they had a heat earlier on and then four starts. And I don't think that was the best of the bunch from Dina Asher Smith. Perhaps there was more in the tank here today for the national record holder for Great Britain, but she gets the win nonetheless, separating herself from the rest of the pack. Yeah, I'm happy to have won today. I was hoping for a bit of a quicker time, but at the end of the day, it's good to be running well and I'm in good shape, so I'm excited for my next set of races. All right, three false starts. Does that shake you up a bit? It doesn't shake you up, but it's definitely something that I feel like, I mean, as athletes, you've got to be ready to do that. You've got to be ready to deal with it. But yeah, it's challenging. <laughs> it is challenging, but um, it is what it is. And their way quickly this time. Persidadu in lane three doing well, but Karekas in the middle trying to fight off a charge there from Giorgio. Karekas diving across the line. Daphne Giorgio had a great race out there in lane six. <laughs> they are all waiting for the results to come up on the board. Well, I'm just happy I won. You know, that was my main goal. I came here, it's a silver meet, so, so I just wanted to win. And it wasn't easy because we had three hours between our two runnings. And I, I saw, you know, there, there were some problems with the start. And, you know, the start is my strength. So I was just, don't fall start, don't fall start. So basically I felt I couldn't run under eight seconds. Probably I, I feel that it's in me, but I was scared with the start. So. I mean, I'm still happy. I, I won and with the 807, so that's a good time. Down the back straight, but it is Bianca Kerry just squeezing her way past before this last bend. That's very important. You can run the shorter line if you've got the lead at that point. Strong finish from Rachel Pelland here as well. The Swiss athlete coming wide on the end, 203.1. Rachel Pelland has been having a really good season, been getting better with every race. And she could have just pushed herself into the lead in the closing stages there. Yeah, uh, it was a really good race for me. I'm a 400 meters runner, so it was really good today, a good win, and I still have to, to learn, but really good today. In the men's shot put, Leonardo Fabri of Italy. As if we needed another Italian shot put up. We've got same way, Nick Ponzio. Here comes Leonardo Fabri. Not a name I was all that familiar with before researching this event, but I probably should be throwing very very well 21 meters 53 it's going to put him up in the top two or three athletes in the overall rankings yeah i'm, I'm really happy and i was a little bit tired because that's my second competition of the week but i really feel good i'm happy i love that circle and the most important thing is that i know there's something big uh, that is arriving so i just keep keep going, keep training, keep competing, and I'm really enjoying this moment. Back to the women's long jump. Yeah. Garda Sevic still in the lead with six meters, 61 centimeters from the opening round. And that's come up on my computer as six meters, 69. So Garda Sevic stretching her lead eight centimeters. Well, uh, it was great. I jumped the season best, which I mean is great. I have four fouls. Uh, make a lot of fouls this season so I'm irritated by that a little bit but uh, all in all it's a good competition I jumped I'm gonna jump again on on Saturday we have nationals and then we are preparing for the European Championships so the, the, the focus is on Europeans of course but I'm glad to take the win today and I'm just happy that, that a lot of people came and having this type of competition in, Bel in Belgrade it's always a pleasure, it's always an honor to represent my country and it's amazing and I'm just happy to be, you know, with my people. <laughs> In the men's long jump, Sara Boyokov of Bulgaria, 18 year old. He might still be eligible for those European under 20 championships. Event leader by three centimeters with seven meters 81. The 18 year old in control at the moment gets the white flag. Seven meters 82. 
a season's best and nearly a personal best. So big points, good result for Sara Bajakov. Да, мисля, че това е завършех на моето състезание. Искам да благодаря на моят треньор, на Българска федерация лека атлетика за всичките усилия, които направихме тази година и се надявам лятото да покажа по-силни резултати. European Indoor Championships coming. What are you thinking? Ами, за сега съм 22 в ранклиста. Надявам се да влезна в 18-ката и се надявам просто да покажа там силни резултати.